Hi guys, it's Baldrick here, and in today's episode, I'll be giving you my first impressions of the new game Dying Light, and more specifically, the PC version of the game. So, let's get started with the gameplay. The control scheme on this game is very good on the PC, the menus are very well laid out. It's very easy to repair your weapons, because that's what you have to do. You just, I'm pretty sure you just press R or something like that as you're on the move. You don't have to go to any sort of crafting table, which is really good and there's not really too many glitches. The main thing about the gameplay is that you can do parkour, so you can like jump from building to building, you can even get this grappling hook later on, I've never gotten this but my friend got it and he said it's pretty good and I saw him using it, so that looks quite fun as well. Uh, also, the zombie killing is very good, so as you can see from the gameplay, uh, you can uh, explode the zombies heads with your weapons which is good, you can also use guns and you can kill the zombies in many different ways, it's very entertaining sometimes. So I guess the gore in the game I can say as well is very detailed, like it's you don't get too many gory games and this is just one of them that just excels in its gore, it's really good like that exploding zombie over there, it's just funny to see sometimes. Uh, even though it's very messy. So, you've also got bigger zombies that you can kill like this one here. They, they are a lot harder to kill and I'm not sure how I ended up killing it, but I guess it was because mainly I got assistance from my friend because we were playing in co-op co mode, which is also another feature of this game. You can actually play the campaign on co-op, which is really good. Uh, it makes it a lot easier if you've got someone experienced helping you out and uh, giving you med packs all the time, it definitely makes the experience a lot more enjoyable. So now let's get on to graphics. The graphics in this game are actually very nice. Uh, I'd say they're about the same as Battlefield 4, if not better. I find that a lot of the textures are a lot more detailed than Battlefield 4. If you've ever played that game, that's meant to have... Well, I, I definitely know it's got good graphics, but it's sort of what people test their hardware out with as a game, because if you can run Battlefield 4 on Ultra, you've generally got a decent gaming system, so this game is very GPU demanding as well, keep that in mind, so you might not be able to play this on maxed out settings with a maxed out draw distance unless you've got really a really good graphics card setup. Anyway, I'll get on to, I guess, the storyline. I haven't played too much of a storyline, story so I can't really say much. People say it isn't the best, but I don't reckon that's what this game is about. I reckon it is about playing with your friends and just enjoying killing the zombies, so that's really why I got this game. I didn't necessarily buy it for the storyline, and when it comes to killing zombies with your friends, this is one of the best games to do it on, so that's why I would recommend this game. So now let's get on to the features, obviously with uh, the storyline that's a feature, you also can play as the zombie on some multiplayer modes which is really cool so you can attack your friends, it's sort of a intense mode, I've never played it but I've seen gameplay and it looks great. Uh, another feature is that you can go and collect airdrops, it's sort of part of a campaign because you need to get you can get uh, special goodies from these airdrops that are fun to get and usually you kill people who are trying to steal it from you or who get there first in order to get their airdrops. So not only do you kill zombies, you can also kill other people which is uh, quite an entertaining game to be honest. Uh, obviously you can swim, I'm not sh I didn't show it in the video but you can definitely swim. Just the parkour in this game is excellent, like I'm doing parkour right here, it's really fun to do. I didn't really experience any moments apart from when it was my fault when the parkour was bad. It's You can generally uh, work out what to do. The controls are perfect. I already said this, but they definitely are perfect for the parkour. Basically, just aim wherever you want to go with your mouse, hold space, and you end up grabbing onto it. It's really, really fluent. And finally, I'll show you some gunplay. I've got some assault rifle, and I'm trying to kill some people to rescue some hostages I guess. So it's pretty fun to use the guns. Uh, they're not the best idea to use because it attracts a lot of zombies which is a good feature of this game and it also uh, yeah just it's gonna attract a lot of zombies so you don't want to be using guns for too long especially at night time which is another big feature. When you're at night 
the zombies just go all hardcore mode and you can get wrecked really easily. So definitely be aware of the night time. That's why they call it di dying light in the first place. So I really hope you enjoyed this first impressions video. Uh, remember to definitely not go out at night unless you're really experienced at this game. And I would also recommend this game to buy if you are into killing zombies with your friends or by yourself because it is a very enjoyable zombie killing game. Also tell me in the comments below whether you want to see me play this game in the future on my channel because I really enjoy playing it. Thanks for watching guys, I really appreciate it. See you later.